We've returned to Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the Chief is waiting for you. This is the Chief's office. Well, Seed, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. So our new Junker has returned. <laughs> I register high alcohol levels. Harry is intoxicated. I really... You know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry! What kind of backup was that supposed to be? If you were a better Junker than that, Jean... Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean... <laughs> Sorry, it's... it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would you give Harry the memory chip we pulled out of Little John? Of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip.
medicine is this? I'll perform an analysis. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Jeez, it looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. Then what was he doing eating buffalo? That seems a little unusual. Perhaps there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo. Are you? I'm an acquaintance of Gibson. I need some information. You an investigator too, huh? Can't trust him. All right, let's have the password. The password?
Is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep.
I'm very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Sean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Seed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner, your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Seed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow, I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a Junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? Okay, Junker, you've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Okay, Katrina. You're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. 
One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen, causing throat pain and sneezing. Four, possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin, which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? A snatcher, maybe. Katrina, you stay here. and video phone number. Give me a call if anything comes up. Thanks again, Mr. Seed. Take care. <laughs> 